started my session. Okay, the domain and non-domain requirements. Now, one of the most common mistakes that people do is um, in segregating the requirements of a product or application. Um, let's try to break up the requirements into various segments and let's try to analyze it taking HR management and banking management system as examples. So here we have classified under four categories. Let's take the first one, the domain requirements. So what are these? These are going to be the core requirements of any given software. For example, in case of an employee uh, management screen being a critical one for HR management solution and likewise the customer management uh, functionality is going to be critical for a banking system. Right? So these domain requirements are going to be the, the DNA of that particular product. It's going to be of course unique across uh, the products and in some cases it might overlap as well. But uh, by large it's going to be very specific to the domain as well as the product. For the adjoining requirements, these are those features that help in governing the core features itself. So these features may not result in the, the addressing the core business problem, which is what addressed in the domain requirement, but then these are going to be the ancillary features which could help in governing and managing these domain requirements. A good example could be the user management and uh, role-based access control features. So these features, if you look at, uh, are applicable for uh, both a HR management as well as a banking system, right? So in case of HR management, it could be uh, who sees what information, who can look at an employee's uh, salary data, for example. So how do you control that access of it? So you need this functionality to be able to determine who can operate on which data and view which data. Similarly, on the banking side also, you want to have different levels of control in fact, granular level also, so that you can determine what a, a clerk can do, what an executive can do, what a manager can do, what kind of transactions they can operate on, right? So the adjoining requirements is going to be the surrounding requirements helping you to govern. But the only additional uh, uh, consideration here is the adjoining requirements may vary from case to case. So in this example, we have the banking system in addition to the role-based access control and user management may require, say, an adultery detection kind of a, a feature which can uh, avoid uh, improper usage of the system or uh, trying some, someone trying to do something weird on the system. So you should be able to detect it. So that becomes an adjoining requirement in this case. The runtime quality requirements, these requirements define the expectations of the software while it's in live or in production. For example, the concurrency of users, the system's response time during various load stages. Now, these are the requirements that are common in nature. And as you could see between the HR system and the banking system, there are a lot of similarities in terms of the runtime quality requirements. Now, while they remain common, the extent to which you want to support these requirements will vary from system to system. For example, if you take the concurrency itself, the HR system, it may be okay to have a concurrency support of say 300 users compared to the banking system where the concurrency may have to be as much as 5,000 concurrency and 5,000 users being able to concurrently access the system. Right. So, so in general, the nature of these uh, requirements remain the same, but the degree to which you want to support can vary from product to product. And the last segment is the, the software management part of it, software management requirements. And these are uh, similar to the earlier one, except that uh, these features are related to the maintenance of the software on a long run. And once again, the attributes and nature of these requirements are similar to the previous one, what we saw. Let's try to take a look at the effort distribution of these requirements.